make it sound like it's back in the dark days, an old family favorite. It's a good game. It's not a renaissance fair. All right. I think Lauren's getting old. <laughs> because she found the schedule at the Buckeye Lake KOA and found the wine and cheese social. Look at this patio. Find home! <laughs> oh, I met Frank here at the campground and he has a super cool looking rig that looks like it's been all over the planet. <laughs> Alrighty, well, welcome back everybody. We just left Deer Creek. We're on our way to an old family favorite campground of mine that uh, I grew up going to as a kid probably 10 times a summer. It, uh, you make it sound like it's back in the dark days, an old family favorite. It's a good campground. It's not a renaissance fair. At least I hope it's still a good campground. <laughs> we haven't, I haven't been here in, oh, it's been way over 10 years. I don't remember the last time I've been here, but. You're, you're doing great with marketing and advertising for this campground. It's Buckeye Lake KOA, and I have so many good memories of this place growing up. So we're going there for the week, and then uh, heading to, uh, Putin Bay and Disney World and all sorts of places. But yeah, so I'm excited to get back to Buckeye Lake KOA. I haven't been there in so long. Carly will like it. It's a KOA, the bounce pillow. And I feel like we're on a bounce pillow right now. This road sucks. Ugh. So yeah, Carly loves the bouncy pillows. <laughs> this road sucks. It's really exciting. Dude's like, are you gonna hit my chairs? <laughs> Did you see him? He was just like, are you gonna hit him? All the golf carts. <clears throat> I believe we have a pull through site. I don't remember. Yeah, there's some like permanent sites over there. Because they did have a lot of permanent sites here. I, they used to. I, don't, I have never been here, so I don't know. Don't know if they still do, but it looks like they've got Ooh, a few at least. Or just Chevy truck. I think the sites we have are basically right up there in front of us. Wait until you guys see this site. We have a full hookup deluxe pull through. And it has a barbecue grill. What? <laughs> and a patio. A patio? <laughs> You're looking at it. It's right there. And this is also the easiest I've ever get into a site. It's right oh next my, to it's the, right by the pool. Yeah, it's right next to this reflection. And the cam store. <laughs> We're going to pull straight in. It's going to be the easiest parking I've ever had in my life. Oh my We're pulling, I'm look. Starting. Done. <laughs> oh my God, look at the fire ring. I know. Look at the fire pit, the patio. Okay, I know people don't like to be on top of people, but sometimes. Look at that. It is just worth it. <laughs> look at that site, man. Oh my gosh, it's a table! That is so sweet. Carly, we're gonna have lunch outside! We're gonna have some fun at this site. You guys, check this campsite out. So we got parked. Look at this thing. Look at this patio! Look at this freaking patio! <laughs> this reminds me of the... When we picked up our Imagine in Tennessee. This reminds me of that campsite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that was a KOA, too. Yeah, that one was slightly nicer patio, a little bit bigger, but this one is super nice. It had the same, like, nice furniture, nice fire pit, but I don't think it had a... No, it did have a grill. It had a but grill. It has the little Weber grill here, and then we've got the patio and the fire pit, but I'm super happy with this. I will say for pole timing, vastly, um, the scale is KOAs over state parks. Yeah, I think... Vastly. So I really love state parks, and I always will, and we're still going to stay at state parks, but I think we stayed for four weeks with electric only over two different campsites, and that was too much. Well, it's, it's not even just that. It's, anyone that has any mental health at all, like when you're secluded like that, you really feel secluded and alone. Because like the one in Deer Creek, there was like nothing there. There like, wasn't a lot. Allen Creek was fine. Allen Creek was fine because you have Polaris right around, but like you really forget that there's a world around you yeah. when you're like 30 minutes away from anything and else. this one, like there's stores across the street. <laughs> and I mean, it's a very nice campground well, to begin with. it's busy to begin with. Yeah. At state parks, like even during summer, which kind of shocked me in Ohio, like there was like no one there during the week. Yeah. That's, it seemed like, well, except Mount Gilead. 
Yeah, Mount Gilead, Mount Gilead was packed. <laughs> but I think I think we need to stay, if we're gonna stay at a state park or really anything that's electric only, it needs to be like a one week at a time type of thing. Cause, it has to have a payoff. Yeah, it's like the Allen Creek spot was epic and that was worth it. But check this thing out. This is full hookup. We pull it's a pull through site, very long very long site. But also there's the camp store right there. So we got the camp store right there. We've got the pool right over there with a the game room and everything. And then our site, it's not big, but it works. It's perfect. And then we've got our nice patio and it's full hookups, obviously. But look at how tight this site is. So the other side over here, you can see the other side, like <laughs> our slide is like almost on top of the patio, the other campsite, but <laughs> It was so good. Slides when you're pulling into the yeah, go, go back to my quick tip where I had that measurement thing, that piece of wood came in handy here because I did have to move <laughs> the camper over so I wouldn't slide over top of that patio over there. So, but yeah, definitely going to recommend this campground. We're coming back later this year for Carly's birthday. So that'll be fun. We've got a whole bunch of family members camping with us too. All right. I think Lauren's getting old because she found the schedule at the Buckeye Lake KOA and found the wine and cheese social. And I asked her if she was going to bingo as and well. I'm not doing bingo. <laughs> it's not like I signed up for the crafting weekend. No, but you would. <laughs> no, it depends on the craft. <laughs> it really doesn't depend. Yes, it does. No, it's pretty much any craft. No, no. You like some knitting? I don't knit. We, I'm not eating. Sorry for everyone that's not eating. We're in, we're in for a treat tonight. We're going to the Japanese Steakhouse. So we got our trailer parked. That site is really tight, but it's really pretty. So I'm pretty happy with it. And uh, looks like we got a fun neighbor that's uh, traveling across the country there from Florida. They have so Hawaiian weekend. It'll be, it'll be a good time. But we're going to the Japanese Steakhouse. All right. Got to the... Man, look at this tight park, parking spot. There's no space, man. Just like our campsite. <laughs> What's with the town of Newark and tight parking spots for RVs and cars? So check this place out. Kanji. A kanji Japanese steakhouse. It's been a long time since we've been to a steakhouse, huh? We used to come here, this exact one, for Valentine's Day and date nights. And this, was, this was our date night spot. But, yeah. Check check this out. We're gonna we're gonna get some sushi and steak and chicken probably, but it's good. I like this. Are you ready? Yes. Let's do a wing of fire. Oh boy, it's gonna be a big fire. Oh my goodness. Fight Somebody's not too happy. Fire's a little scary. That's okay. All right, so big shout out to my mom who took us out to the Japanese steakhouse. We just got back. Carly had a blast. Well, Carly was terrified. But this. To give anyone under three or anyone that could possibly be on the spectrum sensory overload. Carly. Carly did not like the Japanese steakhouse too much. She was freaked out by the fire. The food she loved after we got home. Yeah, she snacked on it when we got home, but we, we just got back, like I said, we just got back from the Japanese steakhouse. Big shout out to my mom for taking us out, me and my brother and his kids and Carly. And we're thinking about you with your first Father's Day without Grandpa. Yeah, so, but thank you, that was fun. We're gonna get all set up here in this new campsite. We're here for the week and they're actually coming to camp with us this weekend. So that's gonna be a lot of fun too but epic campsite. I love this. Carly wanted to walk a little bit, but. Excuse but, you. 
So did, I wanted to walk. So did mom. But look at this. So we're going to check this out this weekend. They've got this little pavilion and cafe area. You can have breakfast and stuff here. I think they might even do like lunch oh, on the weekends. Camp store is very nice. And um, let's see here. They call this the Sunrise Cafe, I guess. So yeah, see Saturday and Sunday, they do breakfast seven to 11. So yeah, it says coffee only from seven to eight and eight to 11 is hot breakfast. So we're gonna try this this Saturday. It's gonna be a multi-coffee Saturday. Yeah, so Saturday we're gonna try this for breakfast. <laughs> As if every day is a multi-coffee day for me. Looks like they got a grill there too. I think they rent golf carts here too. Don't quote me on that. But I think they rent golf carts here and I do not know the price, but I'll try to see if I can find out. We're just exploring the other sites here. These are another another group of the full hookup like deluxe sites, but check this out. This is pretty cool too. It's a little bit bigger patio. A little charcoal grill, a little light. There's a couple of them here. And then over here, it looks like it's a, a lot of the same things that we have. Uh, but out here, these are newer sites. They're not tree covered or anything like that. But yeah, I mean, this is nice. I really like this. I'm glad we're coming back. Carly's going over here to find the playground. It looks like there's a basketball court here. There's a sandbox too. Carly can play at. They've also got mini golf over here. This is nice. Lauren's enjoying our little outside outside patio here at the KOA. So we're gonna we're we're staying at KOAs more. This is so much nicer. But we're also thinking about Thousand Trails for when we're full-time, full-time this year. Uh, they have some nice campgrounds too, all over the place. So uh, we're gonna get ready to unbox something kind of exciting here. So this will be fun and make a fire and make dinner. And this patio is awesome. I can't get over how nice this campsite is. Look at that. This is so nice. All right, so I'm gonna give you guys a tour of the laundry room too. They have like one of the nicest laundry rooms I have ever seen at a campground anyway. So check this out. Look at this. They've got four dryers, four washers. We actually have some laundry going right now, but look how nice this is. You even got one of the laundry carts like that you find in a laundry mat. It's kind of cool, I like it. They've got their events posters, chains machines. Looks like they even have an iron available at the camp store if you need it. But little uh, wash tub. This is super nice. I really like this. I really like this campground. But this is a very nice laundry room. So we're checking out the pavilion here and we actually have this, we have a campsite reserved here for a week in October as well for Carly's birthday. And they said we could use one of the pavilions. I think they said they had two pavilions. Oh, there's the other one over there too. Um, but we're gonna be able to use one of the pavilions for her birthday party, I think. Look at how nice this is. This is huge. Nice tables. Nice. It's right next to the camp store. And and then look down here. We've got to look at some of these campsites. Look at the tent sites down here, right by the river. Carly, there's a river down here that Justin and I used to ride through. But these are tent sites, it looks like, I think, are very small trailers. But they've got the river down here and then they've got there's definitely some permanent sites over there yeah that looks like yeah small ones look there's a bunch of permanent sites over there yeah i saw it when i drove out today but these have to be permanent yeah they've got they've got permanent sites back there maybe some more over there um i think this side is all the transient stuff with the nightly stays um it's nice now but it's nice. They've got, I think these are electric only, maybe electric and water. I know those are at least electric and water and the front ones where we are are all full hookup that I know of, but it's nice, I like it. All right, so continuing our tour, this is like the kind of fun area. They've got playground, pool, shuffleboard, all sorts of stuff. Um, it rained for like 24 hours straight, so it's a little wet over here, but check this out, very nice area. And tomorrow I'll get a shot of the jumping pillow and stuff like that when it's inflated, but they've got the playground area here, some swings, uh, one of the little spinny, some slide over there and monkey bars. And then 
over here they've also got um, some inflatable stuff that I'll get a picture of tomorrow but they've got like a uh, like a bounce house style of thing and a jumping pillow and basketball court and all sorts of stuff over there they've got the swimming pool over here which we will be using tomorrow so it is right over there we'll get a good shot of it tomorrow but swimming pool over here we have got the shuffleboard and giant checkers and chess check this out this looks cool Look at that. So now we have the game room and there's a lot of games in here this is cool two pool tables that's quite nice and then look at all the arcades man bunch there's pinball and all sorts of stuff okay you guys so I'm a little excited um, we're sitting there and uh, in comes into the campground this um, I'm not sure what it's even called uh, like a Unimog style of thing uh, overlander and it has a map on the side of it that shows where it's been and I started asking these people questions and they said that I can ask them a few questions I think they're gonna let me do it on camera like an interview and this thing has been all over the world <laughs> and it's in Ohio what <laughs> this is so cool so what's your name Frank Frank okay so I met Frank here at the campground and he has a super cool looking rig that looks like it's been all over the planet <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna show you the map on the side of this thing and I'll let him describe what he's done. I tell, I tell you what okay. he did. Okay, shipping from Hamburg okay. in Germany to Buenos Aires. Okay. And then to Tierra del Fuego. And then up the oh way. Oh gosh. How long did that take you? Seven months. Seven months, mm. okay. Wow. <laughs> All the way to Fairbanks. No. Uh, the highest point was um, Oregon. Okay, okay. There I met a German friend. Okay. And now we are on the way to Baltimore. Okay. To shipping back the car Ship it back to, to Germany. Germany, yeah. That's cool. So where else are you guys going? Are you guys going to stop in Germany? Or are you going somewhere else? No, we live actually in Argentina. Argentina, okay. In the north of Argentina, in Salta. You okay. have to visit Salta. It is really, really nice. Okay, <laughs> that's crazy. I heard. I've, I mean, I've heard of people doing stuff like literally yeah, yeah. crossing the continents yeah. like that, but I've never met somebody that's done. Oh, okay. That. <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah, this is a really, a, it's a incredible thing now. Yeah. A, still, we have we have no idea what we did. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the chip it's not that's coming. Se it's seven months. Yeah. I mean, that's. Oh my goodness. Yeah, yeah. And then were you in Japan too? No, there was another okay. another group. Another group. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And you can go in this web page. Okay. Then you will see www.panamtour.com. Okay. okay. Yeah. That's freaking cool. <laughs> so is it so another group, did they take this rig? Yeah, this is a that was to Mexico. Okay. That was a work trip. Okay, yeah. okay. With, with this company. Okay. With um, 20 RVs. Okay, okay. And 40 persons. Oh, yeah. okay. And now we are on a vacation okay. one month in yeah. the States. Yeah. And now we have to bring the car back to Baltimore and okay. shipping right. to Hamburg. Hey, that's crazy. That's, it, yeah. <laughs> that's so cool. Seven months going all the way. Wow. And all the way up to the top of the United States. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, California, Oregon, yeah. and now crossing. Now back across the states. Yeah, because yeah, I, I was like, how did you end up in Ohio? <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, yeah, but crazy thing. That's cool. Crazy. All right, everybody. Well, I very much appreciate every last one of our subscribers, and I hope you really enjoyed this video. This campground has become home base for us, basically. I love this place still. So, got the Imagine moved um, from the nice patio spot out to the back of the campground because we actually did a monthly right here. So, uh, we're gonna be hanging out here for a month. And if you watched our update video, you know why. Because look at what oats over here.
There it is, Airstream. So we have fun trips planned, heading to Putin Bay and Disney World. So stay tuned.